<laughs> hey everybody, happy Monday. I cannot believe the weekend is over and we are starting our week already, but it's been a really good start to the week for me. I got through my list. I'm getting everything done. This one here, he's caught a cold, so. Yeah, I love the weather. Yeah, he is not feeling 100%. I don't know where he caught the cold, but he can keep it right over there. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I don't want kisses. I don't want kisses. So as you guys are coming on, please say hello. Let us know where you are watching from. I see Aaron has jumped on and Tina. Hello, ladies. If you are catching the replay, which means the red box is not up there at the top, that means that you missed us. We missed you too. Please put missed you in the comments so I can reach out and connect. If you guys are brand new to our page, welcome. We are super excited that you found your way to us. I'm sure somebody shared it with you um, for you guys to find us. Please put new in the comments so we can properly introduce ourselves. But for now, my name is Renee. I'm Mark. And we are Team Terry. You guys are gonna love this recipe. It is a total twist on leftovers and bell peppers, but you guys are gonna love this one. So if you can do us a favor, share it with somebody that needs healthy recipe, fresh ideas, needs just a little bit of something in their life. <laughs> Sharing is caring, and it definitely makes you beautiful. It also gets you into our share drawing that we do once a month. Hey Rodney, hey Rosa, hey Dottie, hey Tina, hey Kathy. Thank you guys all for saying hello. Hey Laura, hey Aaron, Aaron, Darlington, thank you very much for sharing. So if you guys are not following us for all things keto, you're definitely gonna wanna follow us because we have a lot of amazing recipes. We have a lot of great ideas, because I wouldn't even call this a recipe. It's a great idea. Okay, it's a recipe, Get right? Rid, getting rid of leftovers <laughs> and making a, a healthy meal. It is, and we also have a lot of inspiration. We know what it is like to be starting on a journey and struggling, so we share what we've learned so you can benefit from it. Yep. Um, I think that's it. We're going to get started. This is going to be a super quick one tonight, you guys. I'll let Mark get started, and I will, like, watch the comments. Be sure you check us out on YouTube at Team Terry Keto. Team Terry is one word. The T's are capital. We've got all of our recipes over there. We've got over 280 recipes. <clears throat> Breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, fat bums, uh, our favorites. Yes. You name it. We, uh, we've got a lot of, a lot of things that will keep you on your, your keto journey. Um, this is uh, very simple. We're uh, a little leftover uh, salmon from the other night. We uh, and that was just it was just cooked uh, uh, in a pan, fried in a, in a pan with some olive oil, a little salt and pepper. So that it's there's no real seasonings on it. And then I'm going to add some uh, mustard, re uh, ranch dressing, and hot sauce. A little uh, a little. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that stuff. Jeez. Oh my God. Okay. Cheese. Renee's going to do uh, the keto kitchen. Yeah. Poor honey is not feeling very good. I'm going to do the keto kitchen. Here. That's okay, guys. I will talk you through. We're going to put the full <laughs> recipe up at the top, you guys, so you definitely do not have to um, even remember any of it. But the salmon, you could, if you did leftover salmon from a restaurant, you could make it with it. Um, air fryer salmon is one of our favorites. We have a couple really good recipes that you put mustard on it, honey mustard. I mean, it's a really good way to if, to reuse something because I'm gonna be honest, I am not a fan of fish. I am trying really hard to love salmon because it's good for you and I'm having to take a break from beef. So whenever we had the salmon, it was like, okay, what do we do? Because I'm really missing stuffed bell peppers. So we are going to, instead of doing hamburger, we are going to do the salmon in there. And we're just gonna spice it up because I think that's why I like tuna. It's because you add mayonnaise and everything to it and you really don't doctor taste the up, tuna, yeah. you doctor it up. So that was kind of my thought. What if we could doctor up the salmon and make bell peppers with cheese? It's gonna be amazing, you guys. Hey, Valerie, thank you so much for saying hello. You're starting your diet soon. Oh, Valerie, you are in the right place. You're in the right place. I will message you and make sure that you have everything that you need. Hey, Brenda from Utah. Thank you guys for jumping on. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Valerie. So Mark just cut the bell pepper and washed it. So I'm going to give you guys a pro tip. I feel like I'm either in his way or off camera being rude talking. So I'm going to give you guys a tip on these on cleaning these bell peppers. I don't know what is going on. And I know it may sound weird as we're cooking, but make sure that you are watching, washing your bell peppers really well. I yes. guess there is like a... There's some kind of bacteria. 
in the bell peppers, which is like mm. not making people sick, but it's being Pretty found nice. in your microbiome, which is your stomach. <clears throat> and so like when Mark and I got our gut microbiome tested, we had to rest from bell peppers for 30 days to allow that to go away. So now we're really good about washing our bell peppers a lot. So make yep. sure you guys wash those pro tips. Wash them real good. Yeah, hey yep. Jeanette, hey Bill, hey Kathy, welcome. We're excited that you found your way here. Hey Catherine from New York. So Mark is just mixing up the salmon with, and like I said, we'll put the recipe in the comments, you guys, but it's super simple. It was one teaspoon, tablespoon? Yep. One tablespoon. tablespoon hot sauce. You can do two. We don't really like spicy. Um, two tablespoons mustard. Two tablespoons, was this ranch? Ranch. Ranch dressing. And that is it. Mix it up. We're making like a tuna, but we're going to put it yep. in the... Um, just with salmon. Yeah. And we're going to add some uh, shredded cheddar to it. You can use probably any shredded cheese that you want. Um, it would taste a little different with Colby Jack or... Uh, uh, Monterey Jack, however you want to, mm -hmm. whatever you you like. Yes. <clears throat> so I'm just mixing this up real good, like a tuna. And then I'm going to add the uh, shredded cheese in here. I uh, put a cup in the recipe. It may not take a cup. Um, just kind of... Wing it. Wing it, yeah. Just throw some in there and see how it looks. Mix it up. If it uh, takes the whole cup, fine. If it doesn't take the whole cup, that's fine too. Hey, Sammy, thank you so much for sharing. You are absolutely amazing. We appreciate you. Yeah, this one, probably closer to a half a cup. It's not... Um, you don't need that much cheese anyway. Yeah. There's... Just enough for flavor without adding a lot of calories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where I'm at with today. Counting my calories. Um, Sammy is from Texas. Hey, Amber, thank you for saying hello. Hey, Jamie, or Janice, thank you for saying hello. So you guys, I was gonna ask you what, I have a question for you, because we have like the silliest traditions, and I'm just wondering if you guys have these traditions too. So for Valentine's Day, for many years, we've like said, we're taking a trip. We don't buy each other big gifts. This one here always buys flowers and does the, I mean, he's, he's really amazing about that. But we like to take trips so we don't buy gifts for Valentine's Day. But we always did cards, okay? So we would buy each other cards, you know, our love, our something. And then it was probably whenever we moved up here about six years ago, yeah. we ran into each other in the card aisle. The card aisle at <laughs> the pharmacy. <laughs> I looked up and he was there as I was picking up my card and he was he looked up and I was there and you guys, so, you know, we laughed about it and Mark goes, well, here, since you're already here, you'll save me. I think it was like, just read it. <laughs> yes. I'm like, well, that's rude. But then I thought, that's brilliant. Have you priced the the, the cost of cards now, they're seven, eight bucks. It's ridiculous. So now we have a tradition that we meet yeah. or go together, pick out cards, hand them to each other, read them in the aisle, and then spend the money that we would have on cards on, on ice dinner. cream or dinner <laughs> or something. I know, it's kind of crazy. But do you guys have any crazy traditions like that? If you do, put me in the comments so I know it's not just us. Okay, I just got it mixed up real well. And now I'm just gonna spoon this into the uh, bell peppers. And we'll mm -hmm. put this in the oven at 400 degrees for about eh, probably 15 or 20 minutes, uh, just to let the melt, the uh, cheese melt and to cook the uh, peppers a little bit. And then we'll be done. We're not the only ones. Gigi says she does it too. Okay, so, you know, we just like, it just happened to happen that way. Um, yeah, it was pretty funny actually, because neither one of us we we had just it was moved the first here. year. Yeah, we moved here in January, February. We were still trying to, you know, unpack boxes and and do all of the crazy stuff that you have to do when you move. Uh huh. And uh, we both, I think we both at the same time just went. It's Valentine's I got off Day. work, and I was like coming home, and it's like, oh my gosh! Now it was the day before Valentine's Day. We yeah. were one day early, but usually we're both planners, and it was just so weird because I'm feeling bad that I almost forgot because I'm coming home and not going to have a card to leave out the next morning. And guess who's in the aisle too? I, so. Yeah, I pulled, I pulled in the parking lot. And went, hmm, I think I know that car. <laughs> oh, so anyway, it's something that's kind of fun. We still have the sentiment of picking out a card that describes how we're feeling. Yes. Yeah, we don't shortchange them. We don't yeah. do them quickly. We, we read through them. We find one that's that speaks to, speaks to that us. Time. Yeah, because believe me, there's times whenever it's like, never mind. 
<laughs> you guys know. We've been married for 27 years. There's a lot of different Valentine's Day feelings that come into there. But it's just such a great thing to still do the sentiment. And then, of course, we love to travel now, so we do that with our travel tips. So I'm glad to know it's not just us. Um, also, let us know if you guys have any good plans for Valentine's Day, any special plans. Um, tomorrow, with it being on a Tuesday, I have a feeling a lot of people did things over the weekend. Yep. And the next weekend is a three-day weekend, so maybe you guys have plans then. So, you guys, this is just one of the many recipes that we have. If you are needing more recipes, put recipe in the comments. I can invite you to our recipe group. If you're not already in there, make sure we're friends. We also have a resource link. It's one link that I can send you that has our YouTube, it has our Pinterest, it has our TikTok, it has our, our website, it has everywhere that we put our recipes so you have quick access to them. Yep. If you're wanting that, put resource or you can put link in the comments and I'll send you that. That way you've got everything that you need to be successful, especially if you're new on here because it's just super important to have ideas, have things planned out, we still plan out our meals after all these years, yes, still. We have to, and it's it's really important that you do that. Yeah. So that you don't wander off and stop at McDonald's and grab the yeah. quarter pounder or whatever. I actually have a, like a little whiteboard that I write in here and I write the food that we're gonna eat and then I write on it. We need. Yeah, and then I write on it if we're gonna do it as a keto kitchen or if we're gonna do it as a TikTok because we try to share all of our food with you guys. So definitely use the resources we have to, you know, get on just into a good routine. Set yourself up for success. That's what we're here for. So I see a lot of resources and a lot of links, you guys. We also have a coaching program, which is going to help you to jumpstart your journey, especially if you're brand new or if you're stalled. And if you're wanting coaching, put coaching in the comments. I'll send you the information on that too. So, okay. It was kind of a different keto kitchen, but he's not feeling very good. And I just appreciate it. It's like, we're cooking. So he's like, oh, I'll do it. But you can just tell his energy is down. <laughs> you can just tell. It's beating me up a little bit. Yes. So I appreciate you guys okay. all jumping on here with us. If you got value from this, you know what to do. Smash on that love button. Share it with somebody that you love and put value in the comments. We love and appreciate all of you guys. When you do that, it helps us to reach more people, which is, which is what our passion is, our purpose is, is to help people be healthy, be happy, and not feel alone because this has been just, this is a crazy time right now. A lot of people out of COVID maybe still feel a little bit isolated and a little bit alone, and we don't want that. So welcome to our kitchen. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. <coughs> <laughs> And we love and appreciate you. Thanks for spending some time. With us. I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.